Hey friends, welcome back for the video that is probably taking me the longest amount of time to pull together and make for you guys, and we're not even fully done with this project, but welcome to our backyard renovation video. We originally started this project with Christian building a new fence for our backyard, I believe back in October of 2023. So yes, this footage is very old. You will notice me extremely pregnant throughout this video. Um, and it's just because I have not gotten around to the footage yet. But like I said, the first thing we're doing to kick off this project is building a fence. We have a very large German Shepherd. Bucky, if you've been around here a long time, is a well-loved member of this channel and family. And uh, letting him out without a fence has been a pain in the butt. He has greeted many of our neighbors. He has scared one of our neighbors in the middle of the night by showing up at their front door. That was my bad. Um, he just needs a fence. And we also love the idea of a fence being in our backyard for the girls too. So fence it was and because Christian is my husband he was going to do it himself and figure out a way to get it done so we rented a very large auger it's basically a hole digger and then we learned that uh, Tennessee soil is very very clay like and very hard to dig like the auger could not handle it so we ended up having to soak all of these fence post spots I think he had to dig 42 holes they're all 20 inches deep I believe is what we settled on and uh, we had to soak them with the hose overnight um, spray them multiple times he had had this giant staff that he would like jab into the ground to help break up the clay, shovel some of it out. It was a whole, whole ordeal. Like this auger did not do all of the work like it was supposed to. Christian put blood, sweat, tears, many, many days of his life into building this fence. It was a pain in the butt. So we've got these giant holes that we're putting in. Um, this is how you start building a fence. I learned lots of things about fence building during this process because I know nothing about them. And um, step one is basically marking out all of your fence post holes and then digging them, which is the step we're taking care of here and then we're going to be pulling out i believe four by four posts for the main areas and then where we have a gate we are using larger six by six posts these are like the foundation of your fence they're what all of the pickets will go off of but uh we put all the posts in christian had the lovely job of after digging all of these holes carrying them around our yard so that was not a fun time. He worked very, very hard, very long hours. Thankfully, my mom was actually in town because she was anticipating like having to watch Madeline while I had this baby. Like Christian was building this fence while we were all on baby watch. So my mom was in town and was able to like feed him very, very well. So he was well fed, well taken care of, um, but it was, it was hard work. This was a long, long process. And you can see just how long it would take to do all this work. But uh, all the fence posts got dug and then the posts were placed in each hole and then it was time to mix up concrete. I believe these bags are 60 pound or 40 pound bags and each hole that he dug took two and a half bags. So in our wheelbarrow, he'd pour in the quick set concrete mix, spray in some water with our hose, mix it together, add another bag, repeat the process and for two and a half bags and then he would wheel it over and then pour it in and then set the posts. Okay, bear with me, we're gonna jump ahead in time. The footage gets a little bit choppy here. Christian had then set all of the posts, actually like super late at night, it was dark. He was wearing a headlamp, I couldn't film it. But we got all of the posts set overnight and then he started putting these pieces in in between each post. It's supposed to hold them more straight. It's what you attach your pickets to. I don't know what they are called. Um, I was able to come out here and help him with that. And we had some sick new work boots from Brunt Workwear sent over that was so clutch for this video and honestly for other projects we've done since then. So we loved having those, especially with all of the mud. Jumping forward in time again, you can see he's made a lot of progress on the fence behind him, but he is wrapping up this portion in front of our driveway. He's finishing the fence posts there and then doing the board on board pattern for our pickets. This is gonna result in like the least amount of gapping for us. We did not want Bucky to be able to see any dogs or other people and just limit the amount of barking that he can do when he sees other things outside. So board on board is our favorite choice because it's just a lot of privacy.
and now I think we are one week after the birth of Daisy and Christian was in full on dad mode this week. He was taking care of the toddler while I was just resting and recovering and all that stuff. But during Maddie's naps, he would sneak out to the backyard and make more progress on the fence. He's doing these top border pieces that just make it look so clean and so pretty. I love the pattern and the like design we went for with the fence. It looks so, so elevated. And at least on our end of things with Christian doing the labor, it did not add a ton to the cost. The, like the cost of the materials is definitely worth it, in my opinion, for how much nicer this fence ended up looking. Now we have a lovely screened in porch, but it's just falling apart. Like the wood is rotting, this door is sad and in shambles, and this whole thing needs to be torn down. I'll share at the very end of the video our like ultimate plans for this backyard, so stay tuned for that because there's big plans happening here. But just for now, to make this house livable and just day to day more enjoyable for us, Christian is going to be taking out this falling apart screen door, and we actually got a nice storm door that's going to go in its place with a huge doggy door, so we don't have to open another door because right now the way our house is built if you're not familiar our front door enters and we are on the top of a hill so you have to go down to our basement to get out to the backyard so to let our dog out to go to the bathroom in the morning or anytime we have to open the door to a basement go down the stairs to our basement open the door to our screened in porch and then go and open the screen porch door so it's just like a whole process for a dog and it's just kind of annoying and so this is just one less door we have to open now Hello, welcome about four months after the last footage you saw. Um, Christian just finished building the fence when Daisy was just born. Actually, she's now five months old, so five months since we shared any progress out here. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of gardening now that it's spring. I'm gonna add some flowers, plant our blueberry bushes, and uh, it's not gonna be perfect out here, but it's gonna be better than it was and still really enjoyable for us. Um, Christian has big plans actually out here to just nuke this whole yard. He wants to resod it, he wants to regrade it, he wants to put a retaining wall in and have like a second tier to it. Um, there's lots of things that he wants to accomplish out here that might happen this summer. So we'll see if that happens, but for the right now, in this video, all I care about it being springtime and wanting some pretty flowers and to plant garden seeds, garden seeds, vegetable seeds, and have a little garden happening. So I'm going to start with blueberry bushes over here, and then I have a raised planter box from Amazon that's really cute that I hope to build, but we're working during a baby's nap time, so let's see how much we can accomplish. Now, like I said, we have plans to landscape this place and make it look pretty, but I just want these in the ground. I want my girlies to be able to pick blueberries all summer long, probably starting next year though. And I will say, having done no research and literally just digging a little shallow hole and sticking these blueberries in the ground, they are thriving. They've been in the ground for about a week and they are blooming like crazy. We now have carpenter bees and bees and bugs coming to the yard, which I know is great for the flowers and like what you need to have fruit but it's a little bit gross for me now but like it's just doing fantastic in the yard so if you're intimidated by gardening or something meaning like i don't know enough to start like one of my neighbors has mentioned to me that she wants to plant something or like start that but it seems so overwhelming and intimidating and uh, i think me and christian are like the poster child mostly christian of like just start you'll figure it out as you go if you come into problems or you encounter problems you'll figure out a way around them but most of the time it's not that complicated and like these blueberry bushes I just spent five minutes digging a hole, sticking them in the ground, and they are doing great. Now, as far as our planter box goes, I've done this before in our California house. Christian actually built them for me, but he is otherwise occupied right now. Um, he started his own construction business since um, getting out of the Marine Corps, and now that's what he's like fully focused on. So house projects from him are slowing down a little bit because he has to work a lot more now. But all that to say, I ended up just buying one from Amazon. And last time I did this, I like bought plants in like 
planted them and that's how I bloomed them. And this time I thought, why not just buy the seeds? Let's see what's gonna bloom, what's gonna work or not. So the raised garden bed is from Amazon. The seeds I bought were from Target. These cute little stakes you can label a name came with the planter garden bed. Planter garden bed. What? Are, how many different things have I called this thing? But uh, basically all that to say, just go for it. Even if you're intimidated by the idea of it or think you're gonna mess it up, just start and you're gonna have a blast. Like I think Maddie and I are gonna love coming out here every day just to water these things. And the blueberries are already thriving with me having done zero research besides telling Christian to grab them at the plant store and then me just throwing them in the ground. We're gonna try to do this while holding a baby who has spit up on her mouth. I think that's better. Outside we go. Okay, it's actually a really sad and rainy and dreary day and not, uh. it's raining right now, but not a great day to show the beauty of our outside. It's also definitely far from complete. We're actually talking about like the next phase of this process. We're gonna do a paved patio that's uncovered. We're gonna do a little retaining wall situation, landscaping. Lots to come still, but we've come a long way. So I wanna show you some of the details of the fence, of landscaping, and just what we are now left with, which is really, really enjoyable for us to enjoy outside. Enjoyable for us to enjoy outside. It's nice for us now. And especially coming into the warmer months, we're gonna be spending way more time out here and I'm grateful that we can enjoy that time. So the fence runs a very, very long distance around our property. We have a half acre, which is beautiful. And so the fence runs all the way around it. It connects to the house on either side. So Bucky is good to go during the day out in the yard. Um, we went with a pine fence, not cedar. And Christian did a bunch of like nice finishing details. So we have these post caps everywhere. We haven't stained or sealed it, which is probably a mistake, but at this point it's just good to have a fence. So we have these pretty post caps. We have latches and handles and all the hardware. And I just think it's a really pretty fence. We did board on board is what it's called, I'm pretty sure. So basically it's not see-through because Bucky loves to bark at dogs he can see and there's lots of dogs around us. So the board on board gives us full privacy and stops Bucky from seeing anything. And then like the pretty like border on top and bottom just make it look cleaner and prettier. So we love that. I love the post caps. Bucky loves the <laughs> ability to run around and do whatever he wants. We shared the fence over here with our neighbors. They had a new fence built too. So it's all kind of fresh and new and clean out here. You can really appreciate the like detail that Christian put into the fence on this side. We also have trees here and we're pretty close to the street, but the trees help like block the view from our neighbors and all the cars passing by. And these are still uh, like trees that are growing in. They're only like four or five years old. So they should grow even taller and provide more privacy as time goes on. And then coming farther down to the actual backyard. I don't think I talked about this a lot, but originally when we got here, there was this one large tree here and these three medium sized trees. These are also still growing like four or five years old. And then these magnolias and the little tiny trees here. And then I think that's a fir or a pine tree back there. We added all of those in. We bought them really immature and young, so hopefully they can grow in and get larger, and we'll have to obviously like wait for it. You pay a lot less when you get an immature tree, but then you have to wait much longer for it to grow in, obviously. But I love that we're gonna have magnolia blooms this year. These will grow in and provide a lot of privacy. And like I said, we're gonna do a lot of things back here still. So that back far corner, we're gonna add a shed for storage. We're gonna do pine straw all along the tree line here. Obviously add in some more bushes, add in uh, like flowers and plants. There's the house and the other gate into the fence. Um, we have the ability to lock it, which you really like. A little bit more safety and security. There's a lot more we can do with like the landscaping back here, but we're just happy to get to this point. Also screened in porch has a bunch of junk in it. That's why we are hoping to get a, uh, what's it called? A shed in that corner so we can store all of this supplies and then one day build all of this out to be much more relaxing and enjoyable. I'm thinking an outdoor couch, coffee table, that kind of setup. Then we're thinking over here to just completely tear all of this grass out and from like the width of the fence all the way to the porch, just do brick pavers on the ground and have this be like an outdoor living space, patio space that's outside of that. So we can grill here, we can do our fire pit here. We have like a knockoff solo stove under this cover. So I think this being all paved would be very nice. And now long-term plans, Christian wants to really tear down and rebuild our screened-in porch. It's actually just like rotting and falling apart. So one, it kind of needs to happen, 
but two, Christian wants to rebuild it so we can have an upper deck here. That far left window is where our dining room is, and then those two windows in the middle and off to the right are our kitchen windows. Christian wants to replace that far left window with a French door and have that open up into an upper deck that goes from the far left side of the house over the roof of our screens and porch and then have a set of stairs where this giant tree is. That way we can have like grilling right off of the kitchen, an outdoor eating space right off the kitchen. And then the nicest part is that for Bucky, we wouldn't have to go downstairs to let him out to use the bathroom in the morning because now we have to go down our basement stairs to let him out here. So long-term plan, Christian would love to have a deck up here, but uh, we'll see when that actually pans out. But until then, we're gonna just enjoy this yard. So thanks for following along from the journey of me being very pregnant in the beginning of this video to now holding my five month old while I chat to you about our backyard. And uh, I know it was kind of short and choppy, but I am happy to share all the progress out here and I'm excited about where we're gonna take the rest of this space. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Got it,